right good morning guys let's hope everyone is well and in good care right so if you check um we are on um topic 71 which is addition and subtraction so from this topic you can find that um we are going to deal with mixed numbers all right okay so there i think you can find that it's written there look at the sum and the diagrams explain this in your own words okay so which means there we have two and a three over five right and um three and a four over five so there is since they are saying explain in your own words this one it means we have two holes okay then the other fraction or the other circle it is not shaded um, as a whole we have only three portions out of five that are shaded okay this is where we will have two holes and three fifths then we go to the yellow ones you can find that it's written 3 and a 4 over 5, which means we have 3 whole circles that are shaded. And then the last circle is not shaded as a whole. We only have 4 portions out of 5 that are shaded. Okay. Then we go to step number 2. Step number 2 is 5 and a 7 over 5. Okay. 5 and a 7 over five which means we have another hole there that is uh shaded there okay so we have one two three four five holes that are shaded okay all right then seven over five which means they also combined they combined this this these halves here we have one we have one two three four five six seven over five okay which means on this one if we divide 5 into 7 we have 1 and a 2 over 5 which means it becomes 6 and a 2 over 5 if we can convert this so this one is equal to this okay right then we move on we have 5 um we have 5 plus 5 over 5 which is one whole plus 2 over 5 so we have one two three four five okay so we have five that are shaded with the same color which is gray okay but these ones now we are saying it's five over five that are shaded but now we have three that are shaded blue and two that are shaded what yellow okay but all in all if we add them we have what five over five then the last one we have two over five which are shaded okay so two that are shaded what yellow out of five that's what you have there then we go to step number four step number four we have six and a two over five mm -hmm. so six and a two over five we have one two three four five six okay but now we have um two portions or two pieces that are that are shaded out of what five pieces okay right so that's what we have there so this is what 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 is indicated there by 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 these circles there in terms of fractions okay all right then we go to number one number one there is written complete the following complete the following right with uh, we uh it's written there complete the following addition sums we have three over four plus one over four so we are going to add the what the numerators day three plus one we have four over four that's what we have there then b we have two over five plus one over five so which means we're going to say two plus three two plus one we get three over five then four over seven plus one over seven we have four plus one there it's five over seven then we move on again we have uh, 
2 and 8 over 3 plus um, a uh, plus 3 over 8. Okay. So, which means we are going to say 2 uh, and, a, and a 3 over 8, sorry there, plus 3 over what? 8. So, we are just going to add the fractions there. So, we have 2 and a 6 over 8. 3 plus 3 is 6. Right, then we go 1 and a 2 over 4 plus 1 quarter. So we are going to add the fractions only. So we are going to have 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3 over 4. That's what we have there. Then we go to F where 4 and a 1 over 8 plus 4 over 8. So we are going to have 4 and a 5 over 8. That's what we have there. Okay. Then we move on to number 2. Number two is written there. Complete the following subtraction sums. We have three over four minus what? One over four. So we are going to say three minus one. We get two over four. Don't subtract the denominator. We only subtract. We only deal with the numerators. Okay. So when it comes to addition and subtraction of fraction, we are going to add or subtract only the what the, the numerators, not the denominators. Then we go to B. We have 2 over 5 minus 1 over 5, which means we're going to say 2 minus 1, we get 1 over 5. Then we go to C, is 4 over 7 minus 1 over 7. So we're going to say 4 minus 1 there, we get 3 over 7. That's what we have there. Right, okay. Then we move on to D. So if you look at D there, again, we are going to have... 3 over 8, subtracting 3 over 8. So the answer is going to be 2. Then again, 1 and a 2 over 4 minus 1 over 4 is 1 and a 1 over 4. We are going to say 2 minus 1 there. We get 1 over 4. Right, then we go uh, 3 and a 7 over 8 minus 4 over 8. We are going to get 3. Then 7 minus 4 is 3 over 8. Okay, then we go to number 3. Number three there, we have one and a three over four uh, plus one over four, which means we're going to have one and a four over four, which is another whole. So we are going to add that one whole to one. Okay, then it becomes two. Okay, right, so four over four is one whole. Then that one whole we add to one, then it becomes two. Then we move on with three and a two over five plus what? Um, plus uh, 1 over 5. So we are going to say uh, the answer is 3. We add 2 plus 1. We get what? 3 over what? Over 5. Okay. Then we move on. We have um, 5 and 4 over 7 plus 1 over 7. So we are going to have 5. Then 4 plus 1 there is 5 over 7. Then we go to D. D, we have 2 and a 3 over 8 plus 4 and a 3 over 8. So whole numbers, they add um, each other there. So we are going to have 2 plus what? 4. Then plus 3 over 8 plus 3 over 8. Which means we are going to have what? Uh, 6 plus 6 over 8. Which is equal to 6 and a 6 over 8. Eight. That's what you have there. Then we go uh, whole numbers. 2 minus 1 there. 2 minus 1. Right then. Plus what? 2 over 4 minus 1 over 4. That's what you have there. 2 minus 1 is 1. Then 2 over 4 minus 1 over 4. It's 1 over 4. 1 and a 1 over 4. Okay. Then we go 4 plus 4 and a 1 8 plus 4 and a 4 over 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. Then 1 over 8 plus 4 over 8. We get 5 over 8. That's what we have there. Then G. We have 7 and a 3 over 8 minus 2 and a 3 over 8. 7 minus 2 is 5. Then 3 over 8 minus 3 over 8 is 0. So there is nothing there. Okay. Right, so in, in other words, let me just put uh, the working here. 
7 minus t, okay, plus 3 over 8 minus 3 over 8. That's what we have there. So it becomes 5, 5 plus what plus 0, which is equals to 5. All right, thanks for that. Then 9 plus 1. We get, uh, so we are going to say 9 plus 1, which are whole numbers, plus 2 over 4, plus 1 over 4, the fractions, okay? So 9 plus 1, we get 10. 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4, we are going to get 3 over 4. Then we go to I. 3, we have 3 minus 3, then plus 1 over 8, uh minus what 4 over 8 this one is a bit challenging right so we are going to have what 0 right okay then 1 over 8 minus 4 over 8 1 minus 4 is minus 3 over 8 so the answer is minus 3 over 8 okay right so there we are done then we move on to number 4 complete the following uh, story sums Father brings home 5 and 3 over 8 chocolate from work. If mother is 2 and 1 over 8, how much um, is left? Okay, so which means we're going to say 5 and 3 over 8 minus 2 and 1 over 8. So 5 minus 2, we are going to get 3. Then 3 over 8 minus 1 over 8 is 2 over 8. Done. Then we go B. John buys three cakes. Alright, so now let's go to B. Johnny buys three cakes, okay? So he and his friends ate uh, two and one over eight. So it's three minus what? Uh, two and a one over what? One over eight, okay? So, which means uh, what we are going to get there? Uh, we are going to get 9, uh, we are going to get 7. 7 over what? 7 over 8. That's, that's what we are going to get there. Right, is, uh, is um, the cake that is left over. Then, Sipo has 6 oranges. His family eats 2 and 1 over 6, okay? So, which means we're going to say 6 oranges minus 2 and a 1 over what? Over 6, okay. So, on that one, we can actually uh, say uh, 6 minus uh, 2 and a 1 over 6. We are going to get 3, 3 and a 5 over what? Over 6. That's, that's what we're going to have there. Right, okay. So for today, guys, let me say, um, if you have questions, you can always um, uh, inbox. Okay. All right. So thank you for coming. We meet tomorrow. Bye.